Two police officers in Braintree have been shot. Sky Eye is over the scene here on McCusker Drive. This is near an apartment complex there, and you can see it's still a very active scene, swarmed with police officers. I-team sources tell us that the officers' injuries are not life-threatening. We're also told a police dog at the scene was shot and that canine has died. As for the suspect, the Braintree Mayor's Office tells us a person has been apprehended. Now, this is what the mayor said just a short time ago in a statement. We really don't understand right now the nature of this confrontation between police and the suspect. But the mayor said earlier today, Braintree Police responded to a report of a domestic incident in the area of McCusker Drive. The suspect fled into the woods and was subsequently apprehended. Shots were fired and two officers were transported to the hospital. We know Boston Medical Center is one of them. The district attorney's office and Massachusetts State Police will be taking over the investigation. Our Beth Germano is there on the scene talking to witnesses, gathering information. She says a search is ongoing in the area and that witnesses did hear the suspect yelling things like, uh, what did I do? What have I done? And then a series of shots were also heard. Uh, let's listen in to a couple who were nearby uh, who spoke with us, and this is what they saw. It was very rapid fire, but, I mean, it was really hard to, you know, a couple quick shots. But, I mean, once I heard it the first time, I, mean, I was kind of like, I mean, not like a state of hysteria, but it was just very um, instinctually we kind of, hunkered down, like I said, and we were more just focused on staying safe. But, yeah, it was very... And then how quickly did the police arrive? Was it an immediate response? Yeah, we, we heard it almost instantaneously. They must have been right around the corner, but they were here almost instantaneously and right after we heard the helicopter. So, I mean, we honestly, we don't know exactly what the police were doing, but they were on it very quickly, so... The ambulances came right after, too. Yeah. So. How unnerving is this? It's pretty unnerving, I would say. I feel like... You know, you don't expect this to happen in the middle of the day, and it's just right across the street, too. We walk there every day. I yeah. walk through there, you know, I was going running earlier in the neighborhood, so, I mean, you just never know. It's a safe neighborhood generally, but when stuff like this happens, it's, you know, you yep. want to feel safe, but yeah. I don't know. If... A lot of kids are coming out from school now, too, like from the buses, so it's just, it's a little scary. And, I mean, and you feel for the officers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, we want to know what happened, obviously, but, I mean, you know, they're doing their duty, and they're honestly, you know, in the line of fire, they have to do what they got to do, but it's just hopefully they're okay and everything is all right. I don't know. So as those witnesses describe a frantic scene, I-team sources tell us the suspect was shot during this confrontation with police. We don't know the suspect's condition at this point, but that person was apprehended. Uh, let's just give you an idea from a map that we have to show you, if you're familiar with the Braintree area, where this apartment complex is located there. McCusker Drive, you can see it is east of Route 3 near Union Street and Front Street. And... Uh, that couple told us about the frantic scene. Uh, Beth Germano has spoken with other witnesses there who did hear words exchanged with this suspect and police. So again, those two officers at Boston Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries will continue as we observe police uh, at this active scene, clearly gathering up more information, searching the building, searching those woods nearby until we can really nail down the nature of what this incident was that precipitated the call.